I still don't know what to upload. Hello, welcome to this video. This is gonna be the second fully Ben 10 related video in the channel. Why am I doing this? I don't know, it's better that I make these videos than not uploading anything at all, right? Anyways, let's get on with the video. Previously, I made a video showing why the Ben 10 reboot isn't bad. Now, I'm going to try to make a video similar to that, but this time, I'm gonna be talking about Ben 10 Omniverse. Ben 10 Omniverse first aired in September 22nd, 2012. And, I don't know if this is an unpopular opinion, but... It's actually my favorite series in the franchise. Whoa, let me explain. <laughs> Many people dislike or hate the show because of how the art style got significantly simplified. But here's how I view it. Comparing art style, is like comparing game graphics. Some games might have very realistic and detailed graphics, but it may not be that fun to play. It might not have very fun gameplay, or maybe the game is boring, it could have bugs, or it might not run very smoothly. What? The same goes for animated shows. For example, we can all agree that Ultimate Alien has the most realistic art style in the entire franchise, right? But the show itself has lots of flaws, like retcons, rough animation quality, oversimplified designs, and uh... You... stabbed me! Yeah, a pretty disappointing final battle. So to me, art style isn't the most important aspect of a show. Another thing that made many people dislike this show, is how Ben became immature again. So all the character development he had been trough in the past two series, just gone. He basically got his old personality from the original series back. To me this is actually a good thing. Back in Alien Force and Ultimate Alien, Ben was way too serious, except for Alien Force Season 3 though. But yeah, he didn't joke around at all in those series, many of you might consider that a good thing, but I feel like he needs a break from all that. So Omniverse Ben's personality was a bit of an improvement to me. This show had 8 seasons, making it the longest running series of the classic continuity. Not even Alien Force and Ultimate Alien combined have that many episodes. This show had a couple arcs, those being the Nematrix arc and the Time War arc. This show also introduced many very cool villains and characters. Among all of them there are some who were, very hated by fans. This show also introduced several new aliens. Some might consider these guys to be lame, some, but I think most of the new aliens here are awesome. Like Blocks, many despise him because he's made of Lego but he's actually almost as powerful as Diamond Head. Gravitac can levitate stuff, that's pretty cool. Crash Hopper is pretty decent, in my opinion. Atomics is Ben's second most powerful alien. And then there's, Walk a Trout and the Worst. Which are actually lame, I'll give you that. It also improves some aliens from the previous series, like Yuri Rig and Shock Squatch. I think we can all agree that Yuri Rig's ultimate alien design is hideous, right? Oh. And one more thing that made many people dislike this series is how Gwen and Kevin aren't main characters anymore, and instead, they got replaced with Rook. Call me Ben, dude. Okay, Ben, dude. What are my thoughts on this? Well, I'm not sure. I don't think it's a good thing or a bad thing, I guess this decision is decent. Besides, they got a fair amount of appearances throughout the series. This series featured many alternate Bens throughout the Omniverse, well, I guess that's in the title but it's the first series to have this many versions of Ben Tennyson. This show also improved the animation quality, which is probably because of how the art style didn't have as much detail, like I mentioned earlier. Simple art style allowed this series to have smooth animation quality, and you know what smooth animation quality means? <laughs> Epic, fight scenes. This show tried to be more like the original series. It kept combining aspects of the classic with Ultimate Alien. Heck, even Omniverse the game tried to be more like Ben 10 Protector of Earth. But with combat mechanics like Cosmic Destruction, which is a game based off of Ultimate Alien. There were also flashbacks of when Ben was 11 years old, which is a year after the classic took place. There was even an entire episode that's based around a flashback. There were a couple retcons, but I'm gonna be honest here. I don't really mind the retcons. Whoa. Not again. So uh, yeah. Overall, I think this show is really good, it had a very unique art style in which many people despise of, 
The story is excellent, it improved several characters, and it showed the unexplored side of the previous shows. I'd give this a 10 out of 10. The hate for Omniverse had gotten significantly reduced ever since the reboot came back in 2016. But some people still hate this show because of the simple art style, so the reason this video exists is so that hopefully those people will know that there are many great features of Omniverse despite the art style. So anyways, that's gonna be it for this video. I hope you will find this video somewhat enjoyable, thank you for watching. And uh, bye.